Hey, so I decided to give Windows 10 a second chance, ordered a new tablet. This is TechLast X98 Pro, the latest Intel Cherry Trail chipset, 4 GB of RAM and comes with Windows 10 pre-installed. All hardware specs are twice better than my current on the Windows 8.1 tablet. So this comparison is totally unfair and Windows 10 should win in every test just because of the new hardware. But let's see how much faster it is, starting with the boot time. Well, all tablets should down faster. And it's already booting. Well, all tablet one. And the new one is unresponsive. I browse with my tablet a lot. So let's try that now. New Edge versus Alt Internet Explorer. Similar speeds and let's say both are just fast. Let's compare which is more comfortable and faster to use. I usually use tablet with both hands. And Windows 8 has a really nice UI for that. All controls are easily reachable in the lower half of the screen. And Windows 10, here's keyboard and uh, uh, try to reach that address bar and all the browser buttons. And swipe gestures are gone too. Okay, what about desktop browsers like Chrome? Let's try multiple tabs. Here, the benefit of the new hardware is way more pronounced. Lastly, I use my tablet for video a lot. Both supports all formats and eats 4K for breakfast. But what about HDMI? On the works, nice as always. And what's up with all the black bars on the sides? Every time I use HDMI with Windows 10, I have to switch the resolution and screen ratio manually. File transfer over Wi-Fi for some reason works way faster on the old tablet. Though copying files on SSD, works twice faster with the new tech last. And faster SSD means faster unzip and setup times for Windows games and software. The most impressive difference is in games. For example, Modern Warfare runs from two to three times faster. So what's the conclusion? We can see that the new tablet has a clearly faster hardware, but even with that, Windows still in many cases performs slower than the older version. Sometimes it feels even unresponsive and far from a final polished product. On top of that, UI is still not optimized for tablet, so Microsoft uh, leaves no choice but to stay away from Windows 10 on tablets. 
well at least for now. Thanks for watching, thumbs up and see you in the next video.